this video, we will learn how to glow an LED on a breadboard and also how to use a DMM to test this circuit. For this project, we will need a battery cap, battery, digital multimeter, resistor, LED, wires and a breadboard. This is the circuit on which we will be working today. We will try to glow an LED using a voltage source. We use the current limiting resistor to make sure high current doesn't flow through the LED. If you don't use the current limiting resistor, the LED will blow off. Let us start writing the equations now. Let us assume that the forward current in the circuit is IF and the forward voltage is VF. From this circuit, we can see that RF equal to VS minus VF divided by the current IF. As we are using a 9V battery, VS is 9V. The values of VF and IF can be found from the datasheet of the LED. For example, you can see that the optimal forward voltage is 1.85V to 2.5V at 20mA of current. Let us take VF equal to 2.2V and IF equal to 20mA. On further simplification, you get RF is 340 ohms. Now let us look at a standard resistor chart. The closest you can find to 340 ohm is a 330 ohm resistor. Hence, we choose RF equal to 330 ohm. So the resistance RF is equal to 330 ohms. The power dissipated by the resistor can be calculated by the formula P equal to IF square RF, which is equal to 20 milliampere square into 330, which leads to 0 0.132 watts. It is clearly less than 1 by 4 watt. Hence, a resistor with maximum wattage rating of 1 by 4 watt can be used. Let us start building the circuit on this breadboard with a 9 volt battery. Connect the positive terminal of the battery to this point on the breadboard. You can see that all the other points in this horizontal row turn green, which means all of them are, are at plus 9 volts. Now, if you connect the ground here, you can see that all the points on this horizontal row turn green, which means that all the points on this horizontal row are at uh, 0 volts and all the points on the uh, above horizontal row are at plus 9 volts. Let us use a resistor now and place it somewhere here. You can see that uh, when you place the resistor here, the points on the vertical grid turn green, which means they are internally connected by metal. From the circuit diagram, you can see that the positive of the battery is connected to one end of the resistor. Let us make that connection here. You can also see that the other end of the resistor is connected to an LED's anode or the positive terminal of the LED. So let us place the LED like this. Now this is the positive terminal of the LED and you can see that the positive terminal of the LED and the other terminal of the resistor are on the same vertical line which means they are internally connected by metal. You can also see from the circuit diagram that the other end of the LED is connected back to 0 volts. So let us make that connection here. And there you have it, your circuit is complete. Now let me tell you how it, work, how it works. The battery provides 9 volts potential, it is plus 9 volts here, it's 0 volts here. So the current flows like, like this. It flows uh, through the wire, under the breadboard, um, into this wire and then under the breadboard here it flows into the resistor and then it goes under the breadboard, um, flows through the pins of the LED, comes back under the breadboard and then uh, with this wire it goes back here and then from below the breadboard it's connected to the uh, zero volts of the ba uh, battery and that's how uh, the current flows. Now let us build the circuit on a breadboard. Let's start by taking a battery cap and stripping the insulation away. As you can see these wires are multi-strand. It's hard to plug the multi-strand wires onto the breadboard. Hence let us wound this multi-strand wires around a male jumper. Just like this. Let us use an insulation tape to cover up these connections so that they are not unintentionally shorted. And the battery cap is ready. Let's plug the battery cap onto its battery. Let us start making the connections on a breadboard now, just like the one we did on Fritzing. When you are connecting the LED, make sure that it is connected in the right direction, else your circuit won't work. And yeah, now you see the LED glowing. 
Congrats on finishing your first electronics project. Just as a reminder, the breadboard I use is a little different from that on a fridging software. The first 25 dots and the next 25 dots on each horizontal line at top and bottom are isolated from each other. In Fritzing's spreadboard, all the 50 dots are internally connected with metal. In the next video, we will learn how to use a DMM to test the circuit.